Hi, it's Go Go Girl Mandy, and I wanted to say hi to everybody, um, to all my Dooney girls and handbag loving fans. Um, this is the Sonoma Plaza, and that's the Sonoma Town Hall. And it's guess what? It's raining today. It's really quiet, um, and I don't blame people. We haven't had rain in ages here, so you can see through the trees over there the plaza. And this is this area is known as the wine country. You can see people still walking around. Um, this is the front of my gallery here. Uh, I did another gallery to, uh, film, and it was blurry. It was awful. And um, so I'm going to experiment by doing a video and uploading it HD and doing a better job because this is off my iPhone 6. So. What do you think? Young men you have, uh, walking around. So anyway, on this rainy day, I thought, oh, I'll take a picture of the gallery again and then upload it and use this as my experiment. And you guys can tell me if the quality is good or not. Um, I can't do too long a video to upload it from my phone. I'm going to give it a shot, okay? So, um, you and all my Dooney gals, here's a logo lock in the uh, tote. I wear that a lot and well it's raining so it's a perfect bag for for when there's rain right so uh, and here's a painting of gems this is you uh, Michelle Usabelli she did this of uh, a local bakery and people waiting to go in it and she is a brand new painting it's not beautiful so I'm so pleased to have her work and then this is Caroline Zimmerman so I'm just gonna pick out certain paintings because this is mostly an opportunity you can hear the music in the background um, you've seen Jim's, Jim McVicker. He, he got featured on Plein Air magazine. That is actually a self-portrait of him painting outdoors. He did it by looking through a mirror at himself and he won $15,000 award for that painting. I mean, amazing, right? And was that piece was featured on Plein Air magazine. And Plein Air, uh, if I, I think I explained it in my other video, but I'll, I'll uh, it, uh, explain it again today, is it means to paint on location rather than from photographs in a studio. So if you go, and it's an impressionist style, and that means the impression of light hitting the landscape. So that's why it's a little blurry, the style of painting. So you see the brushwork in it because it's an impression of light emanating from the landscape. You can see that with the seascape. You see the light in the ocean there. And so the actual details of the painting, if I get close, you see how loose the brushwork is? Yeah, that's typical to Impressionism. It's an impression of light and dark. So it's not really meant to paint specific subjects or objects, but how the light shimmers. And so the brushwork is very quick, yeah, whereas this is photorealism. See how absolutely photogenic this is. And um, the reflections are just, spectacular in these paintings. You can see that over here with her work. See all the art paintings I have in here? So this is Lori Kersey, another nationally renowned painter. They're all been they've all been featured in magazines. She was featured in Southwest Art magazine. So and here's a beautiful painting of a tree. That's impressionism too and you can see the light really coming off that landscape and she's sitting in the shadow painting it on location, plein air means, it just means open air in French. So don't get off put by those terms. Um, some pastel work by Jan Thomas. Um, so, and she is an impressionist, except she does it in pastel rather than in oil. You know, if I get close up on it, you can see the pastel. My head's in the way. So. So I use uh, antique armoires, baker's racks, chairs, whatever, to display paintings. This is a magnificent plein air. Actually, Jim McVicker did that on location, schlepping that huge canvas out to paint on the coast for six months. I mean, that's dedication. So that's a big painting, and it's very pricey too, so it's not going to move right away. But someone may just want a big plein air painting. Of course, this is my section. I do contemporary folk art. 
And um, I think Janeth, too, Janeth has uh, my book, Bless Her Heart. She um, asked for a copy, a signed copy, so I got one to her. And she did a really sweet video of this book already. So you can check out her video about the book. And I want to thank her. Shout out to her for um, doing that precious video about it. And um, I do content, this is also abstract, so I'm much more contemporary in my style. This painting was in a national show just recently, and um, that was one I showed in another video, and um, so I have it back now, it's, it's you know, there, this is another one. So, and I won an award for this painting um, in a San Francisco exhibition. I have another one in San Francisco, and in Springfield, Missouri, and Los Angeles. I have three different national shows on watercolor that I'm exhibiting in at the moment. And um, these are some of the books I've been featured in. Splash for, you can find these on Amazon. International artists, I've also been an American artist, watercolor artist. Um, I've been about, my work's been about nine or 10 books on watercolor, because it's a distinctive style. And uh, I painted traditionally for many years, in fact, um, I think I showed you the floral. I have another uh, video where my floral is shown. But here's another wonderful painter. Her name is Robin Purcell, and she's a watercolor painter too. So I can't spend too much time going through this gallery. Now here's um, Douglas Morgan. And last weekend I had a really good weekend of sales, so I'm, I'm pleased, over the uh, Martin Luther King um, weekend holiday. So yes, I was working, even though it's the week of my birthday, my special day I call it and um, here's this Tom Soltis and this is actually a painting of mine I also do um, I work in acrylic and so those are my paintings as well um, and this is a, a just more of a contemporary approach to landscape where the other artists I show are much more uh, traditional and I think I've shown these paintings before too and this is Doc Schluter and he's more of a realist you can see how refined his, his brushwork is. If I get on close, you see that? Yeah, you can still see the brushwork, but it's very refined. Um, and he's more of a realist, but a little bit impressionistic, but not too much. Um, and I've shown his work here for about 20 years. He's been featured in Southwest Art. In fact, that painting on the front of this magazine is um, one I own in my home. So it was featured on the front of uh, Southwest Art. All these artists have been featured in magazines. So is Douglas Morgan um, on Southwest Art. So quite a few of my artists, are they show in other galleries across the US, but they happen to live here. So I'm just, again, using my gallery to test my uploading skills. And this is Tom Soltis, beautiful painting. I sold that this last weekend, so that'll go. Actually, I sold about six paintings. So the artists need to get to work, get some more pieces here. So really beautiful things. Uh, seascape. So we're mostly a landscape. You know, I'm the only oddball. I, I do kind of odd, you know, more contemporary things. So, as I said, I've been here 20 years in the historic plaza, and this is the wine country. Um, so I'm really fortunate to, to actually live in this general area. And um, so this is a few painting of a truck. This is really precious. Some children on the beach. So these guys are very talented. So that's the end of my video. I think I'll, I'm, I'm not going to try to turn it around and face myself because I tried that one time and it, and it stopped the video from continuing. But here's my Dooney girls. Oh yeah. So it's a nice taupe color because what I'm wearing is gray and taupe. Okay, I'm going to douse my scarf across it. Ta-da. So that's the scarf I'm wearing. And it's really, this uh, pebble leather is really great in the rain. So that's why I have so, uh, um, I have these satchels because, no, there are pobos because of that, because of the rain. So do your duty dance, girls. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm going to test this, see if I can have a decent 
video with good quality. Bye.